Hey everyone, it's Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. I'm here in Rome uh, at, uh, what street are we on? We are in Via delle Carrozze, in the very center of the city. And we are right in front of the Royal Crown store. Welcome back, Sebastian. Thank Always you. a pleasure to see you. Shall we go take a tour of your uh, of perfumery? Of course, please. All right, come. let's go. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Me first. Welcome in our shop, and we are ready to discover the Royal Crown world. Guys, if you are interested in finding out about Royal Crown, let's go take a look at what they have uh, for us in their store here in Rome. Thanks so much for tuning in. As I said, I'm in Rome at the Royal Crown flagship store here. I'm with Nicoletta, who is the owner and CEO of the brand Royal Crown Perfumes. And she's gonna walk us through some of the more popular fragrances. And we're gonna do a little bit of a tour of the store. So Nicoletta, you're on. Of course, thank you so much. And as always, it's a pleasure to have you there. So I will introduce to you some of our novelties together with our best sellers. We can start from the novelties that you have already tried yes. and are Imperator and Sultan Mainly. So Imperator is the white bottle yep. and it's a laurel leaf dominant fragrance right. that I fell in love with right away. You like it? Yes, I did. <laughs> so uh, should we smell? Of course, yeah. we start with this one. Even though it's intense, there's something angelic about it and I think the white packaging kind of gives you an idea of what type of kind of a fragrance you're going to experience. Right, of course. It's very cloudy and fluffy, but it's spicy and green at the same time. It is. Yeah. It is. We have tried to find the perfect balance for both sides of the Imperator. I mean, the leather mix it together oh, with so the leaves. Leather. Yeah. Okay. Leather mix it together with the leaves, so the freshness and also the, the strong part of a fragrance. So what was the inspiration of this fragrance? The inspiration starts from uh, the Italian Imperator, Cesare, ah. the most popular of course. They wear it leather and they wear it also a uh, leaf crown. Okay. So we have taken the inspiration to celebrate the uh, Italian, Italianity yeah. okay, of the brand, of our brand. So Royal crown, you wore a laurel crown. Yeah, crown. of course. <laughs> Cool, yeah, I like this one a lot. It's great to know. Yeah, so the other one is Sultan. Yeah, right. And you have five in this collection? We have five different in this collection. So it's, it's, it's Imperator, Sultan. Yeah, Tsar, Khan, and Kabel too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. These two are my favorites. Those two are the most popular too. Okay. Of all the collection. So Sultan is an oud. Yeah, it's an oud with pure mm. vanilla. Vanilla and oud together, it's a mad match made in heaven. Delicious, actually. It's something uh, very warming, very deep, sweet, but not too much. Okay. You can wear it every day, every time, for every occasion. Wow. But it's not too heavy. This is perfect for winter. Yeah. Winter I can time. see that being such a good fragrance. Yeah, it it's, is. It's good. So you have uh, this fragrance, Alchemia? Yeah, that is our most popular and best seller worldwide. And what is this one all about? It's made with uh, the green leaves of the Thai rose. We have a base of oud from Borneo. Oud. And we have thinking about something that is perfectly unisex. Oh my god, it's so good. It's something that is strange but easy to wear at the same time. And it's something very, very beautiful to smell. It's very beautiful. I mean, I can see some men who don't like rose fragrances could think that this is maybe a little too feminine. But if you like the combo of rose and oud, this is delicious. Thank you. <laughs> so good. And for some reason, as I was smelling fragrances here in Rome, it's hot and humid out. All the fragrances that I've smelled here were coming alive, they were jumping out at me and cap, you know, catching me because everything I smelled was so amazing, Maybe. <laughs> including this alchemy. I think, I think the humidity... Maybe the weather have helping us today. Wow. Yeah, because we have around 30 degrees, the weather is beautiful outside and maybe... Can... This, is, this is awesome. I can see this one for today's weather to be perfect. It's perfect for yeah. today. Wow. So what else do you have? 
Oh, we can try also, um, the for example, yeah, my hood. My yes, hood so is this one. Let me show them. I can see it. This one right here. It's our bestseller. You can see that. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's finished. So it's made with two different wood. Okay. Wood from Borneo, for example, it's the main ingredients, and it's also saffron that is inside. Wow, it's gorgeous. It's very, very classy. Um, you've got a little bit of a leathery touch from the saffron, but it's all about the wood. Yeah, it's all about the wood. It's our vision of wood. If it's not too strong, remain elegant, remain for everyday use, not too heavy but and it's a very very long lasting you will have on your skin after shower wow. yeah because it's pure oil wow it's gorgeous if you like oud i mean this is not an animalic oud no it's very easy to wear oud but it is definitely oud so you must love oud and it's also very very classy i can see this being a signature scent oud for someone that loves to wear oud fragrances right. throughout the year during the year yeah. and it's something that is not for winter it's just for every season and every day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I love this one. What else shall we smell? We We've got some good stuff here. Thank you. <laughs> we can try also, for example, uh, How about Itzma? our Itzma, yeah, and I will show you also our celebration. This is Itzma. Itzma, it's again with Mayud and Alchemia, one of the three best sellers that we wow. have. Yeah. Because it's unusual, but lovely to wear every really? day. Have a base of Florentine leather together with sandalwood, citrus notes, uh, tuberosa too. So there is flowers, leather, citrus all wow. together. Yeah, this is awesome. This leather is quite amazing, actually. Um, it does have a little bit of a woody touch, but I'm also picking up something slightly fruity in the background. There is. There is. What is that? It's a little bit of uh, how I can say uh, the. Um, uh, ribes. Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know. It's ribes. <laughs> ribes. <laughs> it's very, very sweet on the top notes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is lovely. It's a great, great leather. <laughs> so this is Itzma. Yeah, Itzma. Itzma. Okay. What else do we have? Celebration. We can try with celebration. We like to celebrate. <laughs> we like to sell. We love to celebrate. Yeah. So as you can see on the flag, it's made with all Italian ingredients that come from Sicily, okay. the south part of Italy. Okay. So there is lemon, citrus, mm. mint. It's very sparkling and very, very this fresh. Is really good. Yeah. You can close your eyes and imagine to be in Sorrento or Capri or every part of Italy, I think. Southern Even the north, north of Italy. Even, even the north. <laughs> wow. This is actually citrus fruits come alive, actually. It's very sparkly. Yeah, it is. Very zingy. So right. there's a tartness there, there's a sweetness there. I pick up not only lemon and oranges, but I pick up mandarin oranges. Maybe some lime, maybe some grapefruit. There are a lot of lot of ingredients from the south part. Oh wow. Yeah. It's Definitely common. bergamot. Yeah, of course. And the mint too. Oh yeah. You smell a lot of the mint. Yeah. Even if you when you spray on your skin you have a sensation of freshness because there are a lot of mints. There is a lot of mint. That's well. why it's called celebration. Because of there's all these sensations of the citrus. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, this is good. This is really lovely. Shall we talk about one more fragrance? Of course. Okay. Tell me one of your favorites. The musk. The musk, really. <laughs> so, this oh, one is... We also should talk about that tobacco. Oh, you want yeah. to? Oh, well, let's talk about this. Let's start with the musk. Yeah. This is a very strange musk. It's very animal, very deep, very sensual. I think it's perfect for women and men, of course, for both. But it's... You have to try. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can express everything better than me. So this one actually I did smell earlier and it is a gorgeous, beautiful, sexy musk. On me, the animalic notes didn't come out as much, which made it a little more interesting to wear. Yeah. Um, animalic fragrances tend to go really... Too much. Too but much. this one... It's, a, it's there. Them. It's there. It's there. Yeah. But it's something that remains... Under. Right. It has to come out on your skin. Yep. Yeah. Really, really beautiful musk. Um, it has both elements of clean and a little dirty together. Yep. Oh man, it's sexy. It's sexy it's and it's perfect sexy. for a night out. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. So this one's called what now? Musk Ubar. Musk Ubar. So that's Musk Ubar. Okay. So 
One more. This one's called Tabac Royal. This is Tabac Royal. Amazing, amazing tobacco fragrance. <laughs> Yeah, a green leaves of tobacco, it's not the dark or the macerated leaves, it's very fresh leaves with vanilla notes inside. Mm, that's why I like it. <laughs> you add vanilla to fragrances, I'm going to go there all the time. <laughs> wow, yeah, this is so good. This is really, really beautiful tobacco. Tobacco with vanilla, but don't think of this smelling like Tom Ford's tobacco vanilla. It's nothing like that. You can smell the tobacco here, and it's not burned tobacco, it's the fresh leaves. Right. Completely different. Totally from, different. Yep. Wow. Really, really gorgeous fragrance. Guys, I don't know if you're familiar with Royal Crown, but I discovered them at Exxon's earlier this year. We shot a quick little video uh, at Exxon's, and uh, when I found out I was coming to Pitti, I knew that I was going to book a trip to go south, and I, I reached out to Nicoletta, and I told her, I'm coming, let's shoot a video in your store. and. Uh, so that the audience can find out about your brand because it is a great brand and thank you i don't know if people don't talk about your brand much because it's a new brand right it's a very new brand and we are in a very very niche very very niche part of the niche perfumery we are very very selective brand and so it's niche 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 yeah right. <laughs> more than niche niche yeah Nice. So, do you sell in the States? Not yet. We are not selling in the States. But, but can people order from your website? Yeah, of course. You ship? Can, yeah, of course. Yeah. We ship worldwide. You ship course. worldwide. So, where, where, which country is your biggest uh, market? Uh, Europe, of course. Okay. And, of course, Russia. Russia. And, of course, all the Saudi country. Okay. Yeah. So, the Arab world. Then. Yeah, the Arab world. Because they love perfumes that stay a long time on your skin that are long lasting and especially they love the more classy not trendy fragrances so something that is always elegant and perfect to wear for all the time and she's definitely right these fragrances are not trendy they're definitely classy slightly classic leaning but very very sophisticated fragrances gorgeous gorgeous thank fragrances. you so much they're beautiful thank and if you guys are in rome you should definitely stop and what's the address again it's via delle carrozze and it's near the spanish steps and it's near the spanish steps in the very center of the city very very cool there's a lot of different perfume shops around here so it could be like a perfume journey you can go from one perfume shop to another Discover rome is perfect for that yeah yeah Cool. Should we say anything else? What's, what's to come for the brand in the future? Oh, the future we will present in Cannes in a few days the new Eau de Parfum collection. Oh, so you have something new. Yeah, of course. Wow. Those are extra de parfum. This means very concentrated. Yeah. We have created Eau de, Eau de Parfum. So okay. Something more fresh, easy to wear, but with this Royal Crown signature. Okay. Yeah. Are they new bottles? No, the same bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I also forgot to mention, actually, I forgot to show them these two bottles. But uh, if you're curious, here's uh, Imperator and uh, this is Sultan. So these are, of course, you can see the crowns on top. And that's why it's called Royal Crown. And we love to say that everything is made in Italy. These I'm very close to here in Florence. Oh, okay. Almost everything is come to Florence, from the crown to the packaging. The bottles that are in crystal, so we love to uh, to be an entire one hundred percent Italian brand. Awesome, yeah. Cool guys, if you have any questions or comments, please list below. Let me know if you've uh, sampled Royal Crown fragrances or you're curious to try them, and hopefully soon you'll be selling in the states. Of course, we hope soon. Yep. Yeah. Other than that, you can always go to their website. I'll have a link to their uh, website. You can check out their fragrances there. They did have some really cool fragrances with skulls on them that were really, really, really unique. Rather than crowns, as you can see, they had little skulls. Those were really fun, kind of like disco skulls. Yeah, they are, <laughs> with a lot of Swarovski crystal. Oh, wow, yeah, those were fun. But hopefully you guys can discover the brand and check out what they have. Other than that, if you have any questions or comments, please list below. And uh, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye.